So I uh, hope obviously he's well. So now four point duel. And this was a tough one yesterday. Kate Ziola with a 9-7 win over Brett Smith and they're back wrestling here again today. And I said yesterday, like, I feel like there's times where Ziola is still trying to like figure out, figure things out, right? Like he's got these really long arms and legs and he's still trying to get his feet under him a little bit in, in this, you know, this frame of body. Absolutely. Maybe, maybe no, I'm wrong, no, no, but it, it, it just does look like that in certain positions where he's just like, man, I feel a little off here. No, it, and, you know, that's one thing to mention about being so tall. Yes, it's an advantage, but it's a blessing and a curse. Because yeah. now you have to fight your angles entirely differently. Now you got to worry about a guy, you know, built like a Brett Smith, who while he is on the taller side... He's nowhere near the height of Cade Ziola. So now you have to lean a different way. The way you fight hands has to be entirely different. It, again, it's a blessing and a curse in a massive way. And, and what, what Smith knows here, and, 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 I, and I did see this match yesterday. Smith was winning early, and then it was that crotch lift position from Ziola that he was just there. They're each getting a warning right now. Um, for hands to the face, but it was that crotch lift position that brought Ziola back into the match. And that's where you saw Smith fire off a shot and immediately try and get his ankles away. But that leverage that we talked about, that gift and the curse of the yeah. long limbs of Ziola was able to kind of close the door, sit it on top of the head and get to that crotch lift position. Now, one thing with Ziola is he steps between the legs when he's in that crotch lift position. Yeah. It doesn't always bode well for him. Sometimes he's able to get it. Sometimes he's not, and he hooks himself. And we're going to get um, – one was offered, but I believe Ooh. we're going to talk about yeah, we'll it. We'll talk about it. But the thing about it is when, when you're taller, look – Kate Ziola's legs is taller than Cliff Fretwell. <laughs> and the thing about that is this. You can step between the legs there on a crotch lift, and you still have all the leverage in the world, yes. physically speaking. So, so that's where I think, you know, you can kind of get away with it. But if you are a guy at, as high of a level as Brett Smith, you will be able to find a way to use a leg to hook and counter or whatever the case may be. Yeah, so if you're if you're Brett Smith, you're, you are you got to go more of, uh, of just like knee pull singles or, yeah. or snatch singles or something like that um, instead of, you know, penetrating to a leg. Yes, and they will give the one for the step out. And now the one that was offered was one blue. Now they're saying one red. So Carnage is asking for an, exp an explanation. He's saying, where was the push out? Because we were grounded, which yeah. I, I understand that. But is what it is. 1-0 is where we are going to sit as the Carnage coach <laughs> walks back to the corner, kind of shaking his head, kinda scratching missed. his head, right? Like wondering what's going on. Ziola, and that this is where his reach is gonna is a big factor. Is fighting in his front head because he can reach your ankles from in front of your shoulders, and you have to like now he's got to be careful. It drags, and that's gonna be one that blue. that one red. So tying it up, taking the taking the lead here is Smith on criteria. But if you're Smith, that's where you need to be. You don't want to get stuck underneath him here, right? You want Absolutely. to be here. You want to be in positions where you can come up to a double like that, right? So great feet there by Smith as he scores the takedown. He can climb up to a gut if he wants. It was there momentarily, but he's hanging on to that hip socket. But you saw part of the game plan there for Smith is to keep his feet moving on his shots. He can't get stuck underneath because you know that Ziola wants to get to that crotch lift position. Front head here, Smith getting a hold of that leg, cutting double here once again, getting his hips out, getting his feet out, running to it. He's got short time, just about 15 seconds to go. Now this is where Ziola loves to be. He's in the crotch here. He'll look crotch lift. He'll get the tilt for sure. But he's got to watch one of his own here. And there's a reversal for one, maybe two. Goes to the desk, and it's one. So 4-3.
and they're going to discuss. And I understand why it's two, it should be two. And it one. looked close from my angle. They, they wanted exposure points on it, is what they were asking for. They weren't they weren't asking two on the takedown. They were asking two on the yeah. exposure. So let's look. So you see, there's two on the exposure for Ziola, oh, and then very that, very close. That, that as looks he's bellying down, kind of turns down, and as he turns down. He almost exposes, so I can I can see what what they were asking for there. But yeah. nonetheless, we're at four three going into period number two, so let's get set between these two. And and already Ziola has gotten to the position that he wants to be in, and you know as long as Smith can counter there or at least come out of that position with a point of his own, with a lead he'll be just fine. But absolutely, it's very tough to do against the you know, a long, lanky guy who's got so much leverage in that position like Ziola. Yeah, and where it really starts getting dicey is in positions like we're about to get in again where, you know, yes, you can fight against his length because it, it can be a disadvantage to him, but also a guy like his height, if he knows how to use his length, takedown confirmed. And that's the thing is most guys, most guys, as we said, you hook that leg, it gets you stuck there. For Ziola, you hook that leg, he just kind of slips the leg in and picks up a takedown. So it's very different wrestling a guy like that who also knows he's very good in that position. He's very good at taking ground. Low double there. Gets to both for feet. Smith. He wants, and they're going to go four. Four will be confirmed. So 8 5 now for Smith. And that's going to, yep, I saw that coming. And they are going to go caution in one. So here's the four up to his feet. And, and, and watch his right hand here when it, when it comes up. Watch his right. Yeah. It, it's not necessarily too strong, but... We, we see him bring his elbow back, and, and that's what the refs are going to look for is rearing back like that. If you're going to bring it low, that's fine. It's the fact his elbow came up and out. We see it on the tape. That's I see where the call comes from, absolutely. So caution in one going to stand. 8-6 is our score. Just creeping under two minutes here to wrestle. Circling back towards the center is Smith. Good feet by him. Little snatch oh, single there by Tiola. one of his own. He's got to be careful here. And he's able to get his foot back to the mat. He'll get into the crotch again. This is where K Cade has tried to live here this match. Foot is hooked, so you got to wonder, can he get it again? I'm surprised that Smith went back underneath him. He was in position to just concede the position and back out of it, but, right? but, but instead, he took another shot and put himself back under where you got to have some mat tactics here, knowing he that, you're, that you're up eight to six. Shots in bunches here from Ziola. No takedown there across. called yet. Now he's running it down, and there's going to be two for and Ziola. Then there's going to be a – yep, I saw that coming. And that's the second caution. And parterre. So 9-8 will be the score. And we will go parterre. That new rule, I gotta say, I'm I'm a fan of it. If a guy flees going toward the edge and you're on on the mat, I'm a I'm a fan of give him the points, hit him for the flee, and start him top and bottom. I I'm a fan of that. We're in nine eight minute left to wrestle. I thought he had that uh, low foot trapped actually momentarily. I couldn't see it. Oh, he's trying to get a knee lace there, mid level lace. It is tight. He gets it to go. Now kicking out of it here is Smith. 11-8 is the score. And we'll get a fresh start here. A three-point lead now in favor of Kate Ziola. My fault. So shot there by Smith. Just crushing here, Ziola. 
And now really putting it on late in the match as we close in on just 30 seconds to go. Now, with 20 to go, does Brett Smith have something in the bag of tricks? He better hope so. Uh, at this point, you're down five. This isn't where you go hunt for a, a low low here. This is where we need something major. And a straight arm push. And they hit him for the third caution and a disqualification. They hit him for a third caution. That will be a DQ, and that That's does big. that. That does a lot for the complexity of this dual meet. That's tough. That's, That's tough. tough. That's and a hard-fought battle. That's it a really, that that was a fantastic battle. match. Let's make that clear, ladies and gentlemen. The result does not change that for me. That that was a battle. That that's. I mean, you got. That's something about you got to be able to keep your composure. Yep. And, uh, but we're.